morning, everyone. I'm Sanjay Hussain, Manager of Planning and Business Development and Relationship at AHH in Bangladesh. Here with me, uh, the most honorable guest here present with me, the Country Manager of AHH, Mr. Munaim, and also along with me, the very respectable uh, Professor Dr. Osama Khan, who is the Pro Vice Chancellor of University of Surrey, is present here as well. Uh, I would request uh, Mr. Munaim to say something about AHH uh, at the very beginning of the show. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kambir, and uh, I'm very privileged and honored to sit next to uh, Professor uh, Mr. Sumatan from the University of Surrey, and uh, he's a pro vice chancellor over there. And uh, yes, AHJ Associates, if I talk about AHJ Associates, we only work for UK universities, and we work very closely with the University of Surrey. So today we are here to get to know more, lots of more about University of Surrey from our uh, respected sir. And uh, if you guys want to make an application for University of Surrey for upcoming September 23 intake, and feel free to visit our old uh, office across the Bangladesh. And uh, I know we are here to help you and to guide you how to make your plans to study later. And over to you. Uh, welcome, Mr. Khan, for being here at AHJ office in Dhaka, Bangladesh, and Gulshan. Uh, it's an absolute privilege to uh, have you here this morning. Mr. Khan, please say something about it. Uh, good morning. Assalamu uh, alaikum. It's really uh, lovely to be here. And thank you very much, Una uh, and Sanjay, for inviting me. Uh, I must say that I'm missing uh, uh, Mr. Zahid a lot. Uh, it would be lovely to meet him before I leave the country. Uh, I really appreciate this partnership with AHZ Associates and the UPS of Surrey. Um, I'm here, of course, as a fellow Bangladeshi, but I also represent, I represent the UPS of Surrey today. Uh, we are a lovely university in the hills of Surrey, which is the most wooded county in Britain. Uh, and it's, it's really a good privilege to have uh, connecting a green country like Bangladesh with a green county like Surrey. Uh, and I'm sure through this conversation, we will probably share more stories and subjects and programs about the University of Surrey and how does it feel to be a student at the University But thank you very much for having me. Uh, sir, we have received some questions from the students around all over Bangladesh. Uh, firstly, can you please describe what the specialty is about the University of Surrey? Why a student must choose the University of Surrey rather than choosing any other students in the UK? That's a, that's a big question. Uh, so, uh, what is University of Surrey stand for? We, 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 are, faith, we are a comprehensive university. We have uh, a veterinary school, we have a health science school, we have a large business school, uh, we have a hospital and tourism school. So, there are three faculties within the University of Surrey. But just to give you an idea of University of Surrey, it's, the root of University of Surrey goes back to 1890 when we were at Battersea Technical. So the history and the root of my university is in science and technology. We are famous for science and technology. But as a social scientist, as a professor of finance in the business school, it would be a heresy for me not to talk about our social science and performing arts as well. So we also have Guildford School of Acting, which is the best school of acting in the whole of Great Britain. If you have ever uh, enjoyed a performance on the Broad Street of New York or Chicago, or London or Paris, you must have seen a performance of one of my students, one of our students. So we are very good for acting as well. So we have art for science and engineering, we have social science and economics and business and law, and we also have arts and music, media and, and, and performance or performing media. Uh, as a university, it is a campus-based university. Student experience in Trinidad from London, and we will talk about the, how does it feel to be living in uh, Surrey and studying here. Uh, and, and you asked the question, I want to begin a question about why should people choose Surrey instead of any other university? I guess Surrey has a community feel. 35% of our students are international. Um, I myself come from Bangladesh, and I'm a pro vice chancellor there as a professor. Uh, more than 60% of our faculty members are from outside of the UK. 
we are an international community. So when we invite a student, a Bangladeshi student to Surrey, we don't just invite them to Surrey as a county, we invite them to a world which lives in Surrey. And I guess that's why you should, uh, people should choose it. Another of the most important issues in the UK for most of the uh, South Asian countries is finance. Can you please tell us uh, about the scholarships, especially for the South Asian or special economics students in the University of Sargent and how can you do that? Absolutely, I totally understand that. And you know, to be honest, it's not that cheap to go and study abroad. Uh, but before I talk about scholarships and finances, I would say that I, as an educator, uh, I would call out to all those parents, uh, those who are looking for a bright future for your children in Bangladesh. There is nothing more important than investing in education for your children. Uh, of course, you might say that as a professor, I would say so, or uh, uh, you know, to generate revenue for the university, I would say so. But to be honest, uh, you could invest in property, you can invest in stock market, you can invest in bond market as a finance uh, academic talk about those things, but nothing beats your investment for your children's education. We must invest in our future generations' education. Uh, University of Surrey um, does provide scholarships of different scale in different subjects, and depending on which subject you're applying to University of Surrey, uh, we can absolutely work with all the associates and find out what could be the scholarship content we can provide. At the moment, depending on which country you're applying for, the subject you're applying to from, um, there could be scholarships up to five thousand pounds, ten thousand pounds uh, for different states of social media you know, for the different subjects. Um, so please make us make an application. And, and by the way, those who are looking for uh, even higher studies in PhDs, uh, University of Surrey on an average every year offer more than hundred scholarships and PhDs. So they are very competitive, and I do believe as a fellow Bangladeshi that there is a lot of talent. Those who are looking for PhDs in a comprehensive subject area, please apply to our PhD scholarships as well. As well. And good news, that's a fantastic way to study. Thank you for the question, sir. Um, some students also want to know about the inter tournaments. Can you please tell us about uh, what the inter tournaments mean, uh, both undergraduate and postgraduate students? So, um, it varies uh, widely. Uh, but generally speaking, we are looking for uh, a good honors equivalent from a Bangladeshi Republic. So, what is good honors in Britain? You will hear about good honors uh, or, or, or the definition of good honors all the time in Britain. Good honors means upper second class or first class. So, in Great Britain, all the undergraduate degrees are classified into four categories. You've got both of your uh, university graduates in the UK, so you would know. It's first class then upper second class, lower second class, and top class. And there are uh, degrees which are without honors. So those are the classifications. And University of Surrey tend to request for uh, uh, a good honors outcome in your degree if you're coming to study uh, in a postgraduate uh, subject. Uh, and of course, I leave the details with uh, our pupil team and both of you can uh, relate to our student community in Bangladesh. For undergraduate program, uh, we are obviously looking for a, a, a competitive performance in the high school. So if somebody is doing the British curriculum, whether that's BTEC or A-level, then we're minimum looking for three A-levels, and on an average, we're looking for two A's and a B or a one A and two B's. And an equivalent of that, I'm very uh, glad to hear, literally, after coming to your office, that our, our university is also considering the local qualifications of uh, SSC and HSC, as well as in, in the GPA of five in certain subjects. So it varies between subjects, but there's one thing I just want to educate our community in Bangladesh, whoever is listening to this uh, live, is sometimes we think that the entry requirement is proportional to how difficult the subject is. So for example, we are going to start a medical school from January 2024, so then we have almost all the subjects that you can study from um, Engineering, for example, or biochemistry or biotechnology would be more difficult to study than, let's say, business management or BBA. 
However, you will find that business management has a higher entry requirement than some types of engineering subjects. That's not because business management is perceived to be a difficult subject, that's because the demand is there. So not always in Western world, but particularly in the UK and more specific research side, entry requirement shows you how much that subject is in demand. And if demand of a subject is directly related to what the job prospects are. I hope that answers that. Thank you for your answer, sir. Uh, most of the students are very concerned about the job you just mentioned. Uh, before they start any degrees of any university to any subjects, can you please tell, tell us more about the students, uh, what the students would, would benefit from the job market after completing a degree or master's or graduation or PhD from the University of Surrey? That's a, that's a lovely question I would love to answer. Just to give you an idea that where University of Surrey stands in terms of its graduate prospects, 88% uh, of, of our undergraduate students get a graduate level job after they graduate, which puts us eight in the entire country, in the entire of Great Britain, the University of Surrey for graduate job prospect ranks eight. Uh, and that's a significant achievement. And that's primarily because our faculty members, our universities, research are very well connected to industry. Uh, we have more than four and a half thousand industry partners who not only send their research problem to the University of Surrey for a staff member to do research on, but they actively collaborate in research and actively recruit our placement students and graduates. The University of Surrey has one of the most famous placement opportunities and many undergraduate students from Bangladesh sometimes want to finish their degree as soon as possible because there is a financial party. But if you could, I would really encourage you to not only apply to an undergraduate program at Surrey, but apply for a four-year degree with a one-year placement after two years of study. And that placement has a relatively very small amount of tuition fee because it is still a study that you're doing with an appointed teacher. It's a tripartite contract between the company that places our student, the student, and the university. Uh, it's equivalent to studying one year, and 60% of Surrey students who go through a placement gets a graduate job offer before even the start of the So I think, really, if you're thinking of getting a good career out of your degree, Surrey couldn't be any better. In fact, you asked the first question, why people should go to Surrey rather than any other British university? And of course, we're talking about universities like Oxford and Cambridge and Queensland and BBC. The one stat I can proudly talk about is our graduate prospect. We are really, really good quality of our graduate prospects. Uh, so come to Surrey, study with us, do a placement here. There's a high possibility you will have a very good job. Thank you for answer, sir. Uh, can you please describe the top courses of the universities and also the recognitions of the certificates of the University of Surrey? Uh, I'll tackle the second part of your question first. In fact, uh, in terms of recognizing the University of Surrey certificate or accreditation or diploma certificate, it's unquestionable. It's globally acceptable. We are, uh, I mean, we, we got our university charter in 1960s. We have been offering degrees since 1891. We are one of the top research intense university in Britain. Um, you know, some of the some of the things that we invented for the world is absolutely um, mind blowing. So, for example, microsatellite. Um, we all know that in Bangladesh we few years ago, we bought our own microsatellite, uh, as we all go on to satellite. Those satellites were, were unaffordable about 20, 25 years ago. 25 years ago, the satellites were all different satellites, created by multi-trillion pound investment by big, powerful countries like America and Britain. One of our professors, in fact, one of my colleagues, Professor Sir Martin Sweeting, invented microsatellite at the Sun University which is a satellite as big as a microwave oven. You probably most of you have microwave oven at home. And it can be launched, and it has its own wing and span. And because it's affordable, even a developing country like Bangladesh can now buy it. And that's because of science. So we are a highly reputable institution. We do research with all the top universities in the world. 
Now the other question, do you mind me the first part of the question? What are the top courses? What are the top courses? Um, so as I say, the heritage of Surrey is in science and technology. So let me start with science and technology. We are a top-notch university in triple electrical and electronic engineering, in computer science, or anything related to triple We are great in uh, telecommunication. In fact, the other amazing thing, I, I don't know whether 5G reached by the issue. We have, uh, we're still working on 4G on your mobile phone. So 4G is a, it's still in process. 5G is invented at the University of Surrey. So this is incredible. We are now working on 6G. So telecommunication is a famous area. Advanced Institute of Technology is working on uh, late So these are the four areas in science and technology. Uh, in terms of social science, I already mentioned our business school. It's a very large business school, very reputable. We are the only business school where our accounting and finance degree is accredited by all the five charter bodies in the UK. So whether you call it SEMA or ACCA or ICAW or ICAS, these are all chartered institutions, are the oldest in the world. In fact, to be honest, the British Accounting Chartered Associations are all the same way. And we have all of their accreditation in the business school, alongside ASCSB and other business associations. I talked about the Open School of Acting already. It's a highly reputable organization. Um, and in terms of economics, law, we have very good, strong relationship with our open financial sector and our other organizations. I think the bottom line, what I would say, whatever we teach, we teach in a very Come to our classroom, we're not just lecturing theoretically, we give you the practical taste of how would it feel like if you're an engineer in the industry, how would it feel like if you're an accountant in the bank, how would it feel like if you're performing in a broad street in Larry? And that's what we give at Sun. Great, thank you for your own recognition, sir. No, we all know from our experiences as well, like the students, especially in PR in Bangladesh. Reason they want to experience London life. We all know how uh, University of Surrey is around 20 miles away from London. How do you think that basically helps the students learn the new lifestyle and expenses? Um, in terms of expenses, if I, if I pick that up, uh, University of Surrey is in Guildford. It's a beautiful uh, town, a middle of rolling hills in Surrey. Surrey is a lovely county. Uh, it's the most wooded county. It has the highest amount of forestry in England. Of course, we don't compare with Scotland. Scotland has much more forestry than us. But within England, Surrey has the largest amount of forest and hills. And these hills are known as area of outstanding natural beauty. So if somebody loves nature, somebody loves to pick up uh, um, walking or hiking or camping, Surrey is a lovely place to really start exploring some of those things. Uh, the north part of Surrey, where I live with my family, is literally within zone six of London. Those of you who know London, London transportation system is divided into an onion layer of six zones. The middle is zone one, then zone two, then three, four, five, six. And the north uh, uh, east part of Surrey coincides with zone six. From London Waterloo Station, which is a central station literally opposite the parliamentary uh, uh, housing in London, where the Big Ben, the Big Ben Market. If you take your journey from there, there are six trains every hour, every day, to Guildford, which takes only 30 minutes to reach there. And for example, my commute uh, every morning is only 30 minutes when I live in Zone 6. I live in Surrey. So it's very proximate to London. You can enjoy and go and enjoy the hustle and bustle and the busyness of London, but you can also have the tranquility of nature by staying in Surrey. So I think it has the best of both worlds. If you want to have a night out, if you want to go and explore London, it's a good train ride. If you want to have a relaxing walk or a hiking, you can do that. You can come to London. Now, in terms of expense, you asked in the question of expense. Um, 
um, I would say, unfortunately, it's probably not as uncomparable as London. Although it's outside of London, because Sari County Sari is a very affluent county, it's the richest county uh, in England. There is a lot of wealth, which means that the living expenses are almost comparable to London. But of course, it has the advantage of the building uh, And one other thing I would say recently, Myself and our chief operating officer, uh, Andy Chopin, we have uh, created a lot of job opportunity on campus. We, one of our core principles is if there's a part time job going on campus and we can do it to our students, we first prefer our students before we go out and look for workforce to our agency. And so, on. so I just want to say that that doesn't mean that the county service is definitely get a job, but we focus on that because I think. Our students, when they serve our own students, they can provide the best service because they can relate to that value, relate to that uh, uh, experience. So can you please say something about AJ and SIS and uh, how AJ's family and uh, the University of Surrey can work together very closely and uh, for the betterment of the students of Bangladesh? Of course, we were just having this conversation. We really would like to work. We, we, we enjoy the relationship we have with AZ Associates. We love the fact that we are such a well network, worldwide uh, educational consultancy. We have a level of quality that we maintain, uh, and we would like to strengthen that relationship and build on it so that we can work together and make sure that there are students from Bangladesh who can also enjoy uh, the privileges of studying at the University of Surrey. Uh, I think what I would say that um, what, what you will, what our Bangladesh students, those who are going to be confused about where to go, will get from this from this uh, corporation, AZ Associates, is a high quality level of advice and guidance. And I understand that you offer end to end service as well. So there is a lot of support that uh, uh, during a very confusing time of leaving your parents' home, going abroad alone yourself. It, it is a confusing and anxiety-provoked uh, time. But I think AZ Associates does a very good job looking after you um, on behalf of the University of Surrey. So I would really you know, would like to see that we partner together and find as much students as possible to go and enjoy and, uh, the education that we offer at Surrey. And then bring that back, that knowledge, back to Bangladesh. Very much for your time, uh, sir. I would like to ask uh, our respectable uh, country manager, Mr. Nguyen, to say something about AHN a bit more and a bit describe a bit how we work and uh, how the students will get benefited to be here so that uh, students know more about AHN. So, can you please say something about it? Thank you. Thank you, sir, uh, for your like, uh, in details. Uh, I could because it's my privilege to get to know about university in much details. And as you were academic uh, from the MBC, and even from the Bangladeshi, uh, like uh, Bangla personnel and, and representing the high level at the University of Surrey. So we are really proud and being a Bangladeshi and, and really privileged. And uh, as the AHJ Associates, as we work for the students, uh, especially for the Bangladeshi student, because I'm working here as a country representative. And uh, this is something like always uh, we face the student if they come to us, they want to know more about the UK, about the UK university, looking for the courses and uh, which course the best fitted for the career. So I would say like the, the things you say, like uh, I believe the, you know, the audience here, whoever listening this, I think they will be benefited to get to know more. Uh, this, uh, like, Practical information to us from this session, as well as from us, uh, what we AHJ does because uh, we we say to us we are like expert for the this industry because we only focus for one destination and we are promoting UK higher education across the country and we have branches in Sylhet, uh, Chittagong, and Dhaka and in Rajshahi and. Uh, we have our own portfolio to recruit a large number of students uh, from Bangladesh uh, for UK universities. So if any anyone wants to go UK, wants to study in the UK, so you guys can uh, come away in our one of our 
places and uh, here one of our experts will be doing guiding and uh, from the from the scratch level it's starting from the counseling making your application process uh in the community in the university to get your offer letter it's in a smooth process once you receive the offer letter then the counselor will guide you to how you make the proposal how the rest of the procedure is the application and others is to leave. So I think it's a great platform in the NHL Associates. So, so feel free to contact with us. And uh, as, as I said earlier, it's in the University of Surrey, I would say especially for, for Bangladeshi students, it would be the, like a, a great opportunity, I would say. Because now we are starting a uh, starting point for September, September to the green take. So know more about the University of Surrey, visit us and you can go to our website or University of Surrey website and get to know more, all the information available. So if you need more information and uh, any guidance, so feel free to come to us and we are here to support you, to guide you, to make your journey smoother. Thank you, Sandy, uh, for the hosting this session. Thank you, sir, for being here. Thank you, Thank you, you. Thank you very much for both of the, the both of you gentlemen for for being here of this live show. Uh, wish all we, I wish all our uh, audience a very good day and thank you very much for your time. AJ family is always here to support you for your fulfill your dream for you to have education. Please visit our website for more information. Knock up us Facebook or visit any of our offices in Dhaka, especially in Kushan. Hanmandi Uttara, and we have all the offices in Hanman, uh, Park Shahi, Chittagong, and Selai. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. We proudly served more than 400,000 students for the last 10 plus years. Our more than 400 global counselors are dedicatedly working for guiding the students. 25 plus top recruitment awards and 98% student satisfaction inspires us. Let's explore your higher education journey with AHZ Associates. We're available 24 by 7 at your service on every social media. Schedule an appointment and we will arrange a session with our UK graduate expert counsellors. We will assess your qualifications and will back to you with possible options. Our assigned consultant will find the best suitable option that suits your need. Passport, all academic certificate and transcript, IELTS or UKVI IELTS score, curriculum vitae, personal statement, reference letter, bank statement, if available. Our experts will extensively check your file before submitting it to be processed by the university. Our experts will assist you to receive an offer letter from your selected UK university. After successfully completing the CAS interview, the university will issue a CAS letter which will be needed to apply for Tier 4 student visa. Our experts will assist you to find the suitable student accommodation for you. You will need to attend a scheduled interview at UK Embassy. However, you may require to face UKVI credibility interview. We will give you pre-departure guidance support and we will continue keep in touch while you are in the UK if you need further assistance. If you need transportation service, please contact us and we will help you to fix your transportation from airport and arrive safely. Our representatives will guide you to getting a student travel card for the UK. You may open a student account with HSBC before you start your journey or please contact us and we will guide you how to open a bank account in the UK. All our services are available on our website. Learn, live and lead your dreams with AHZ Associates. Let's grow together.